Howdy ho, it's Chris in Oklahoma. A little chilly out today, but I wanted to do a quick video where I, where I added two more panels and rearranged these so I could get a couple more up here. And I got the last two on order. I had to fix a lot of this so I could get this mounted better and all that. But let me step down here, I'll show you underneath. Much better job with the wiring. I got them wired series, series parallel. And I put new cross things in here last year. A marine buddy and I did that. And it turned out really good. But I got these wired series, series parallel, 48 volt system. And it really worked out good. I am seriously over paneled for my midnight solar 30 amp solar charge controller. But I am running, I think it's eight gauge cable in here. I can't remember, it's PV cable. I can't really read it on there. But it's really thick stuff, but I'm a little bit concerned. Maybe Justin or Ken can chime in because you know I'm only gonna get 30 amps out of the solar charge controller, but with 10 panels up here, it's going to be, you know, I could push 50 amps through this cable. I was, I'm just, my question is if that's, is, am I going to need to run another line? Or can I just run everything through this cable that I already strung up through the, you know, through the attic and crawl space up there? So, just curious what you think. But, yeah, it worked out pretty, uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way this thing is mounted up there. It's a lot simpler and I really secured stuff. Had to modify these brackets. I don't know if you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. Those brackets in there. But I, I'm using grade 5 bolts in there. And with uh, deck screws to hold them down, just drilled right through the brackets. So it's stupid, uh, stupid secure for that for the most part. And I checked with my insurance and it covers hail and wind and any damage uh you know send them pictures and all that so i said ah what the hell and if i ever move you know with with all these panels up here it uh it's no big deal taking them down i you know i saved the boxes and all that and you know i could get like a toy barn or whatever and and uh Use, use that as my off-grid system or even uh, make a grid tied system so that's how I got them set up and just thought I'd show you what I'm going to be doing so this week I'll be adding two more panels to this system for a true one kilowatt 1000 watt system so I'm pretty excited about that so y'all take care Go Air Force, go Marine Corps, and take care, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully, hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have uh, another video up of all this jazz. So, see you later.